I tell you, the stock market is just crazy. I think on Wednesday, my video, I said, I think SPY at 440 might get tested. Uh, Thursday comes around and SPY jumps all the way up to 430. I'm like, man, do I look like a genius now? And then it just crashed. And then Friday, after all the earnings reports, we started off uh, pretty, uh, we started off a little red in the morning and then just continued going down. I think SPY is down to 413 at close. So obviously heading down right now, which is just horrible since I'm in a lot of bullish positions. So in this video, I'm talking about all my options trades and then just looking at my portfolio overall. And this might be a quick one because I think I've discussed most of my trades already on the Tuesday and Wednesday videos. So first off, my portfolio. This week, I actually realized almost $3,000 in profit from trading options. I don't know whether to uh, laugh or cry this week with the stock market. So like on one hand, my account is down overall because a lot of my long positions lost money. But on the other hand, my quick trades this week were all on fire. They all took profits and I realized 3000 in income. It's like on one hand, everything I did this week was okay, but I lost money overall. <laughs> so a loss of 3200 after Friday closed. And that's another 1.51% down. Uh, year to date, that brings me down to only up 18.69%. My all-time high for year to date was at 26%. And like I said, I already realized uh, 29.88 this week and realized income from options. Uh, quick overview, now that we're through April, we can look at this guy. And I realized $6,233 from selling premium or you know playing with options at least. I think I did a couple uh, bull and long calls and puts this uh, this month. So that's a pretty inflated number because I was buying premium and I just seem to be right more often than not. I think uh, one play that's going to like cancel out most of this is my long AMD calls. I think there's about 6000 invested in that position and it's worth about 2000 right now. And at this point, I'm just going to hold it through earnings and see what happens. But basically... All the good trades I did this month are going to be wiped out because of one play that just concludes in May. So, you know, 6,000 gain here, asterisks, but it's going to be like a 6,000 loss to start May off. So it'll be interesting to say the least. Uh, here are the uh, diversi diversification page here. I did close a uh, hood. I'm not sure why that doesn't show up or why that didn't get taken off, but everything else is in there. Uh, my notational value is at 154000 and that's because I have a couple puts on SPY that take up obviously a lot of, of value right there. Let's go ahead and jump to the brokerage. Alright, so now we're looking at the brokerage here and you can see that today was obviously a really bad day. I think at one point this was actually above 8000 for the, the losses. Uh, this morning, I thought I was being very clever. I <laughs> bought some calls on Amazon, wrote it for a little gain, pocketed about $1,200. And I was like, yeah, if I only lose like 2000 a day off this market, awesome. But it <laughs> went down a quite a bit. Uh, obviously, my QYLD position suffered a lot. So it's down $0.64. Cents. Every $0.20 cents is about a $1,000 loss for me with QYLD because I have 5,000 shares. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the trades this week. So here you go. We talked about everything up to here. So I did end up selling a put on PayPal at the 80 strike. This was back when PayPal was still going up. It was above 90 when I sold this put. This is probably in red as well right now. And then today I saw an opportunity to like buy some calls on Amazon. I did end up doubling up a couple of times before I was able to get out with a small profit. Uh, Amazon did jump up and this contract was worth uh, $82 at one point after like immediately after I closed out but when I started doubling up on the contract then I lower my exit price drastically so I don't get too greedy because you know if you look at this this was actually probably a really bad series of trades that I did here that I just got out with a profit anyway uh, Amazon went down a lot today even from this point so kind of lucky that I didn't lose on this play overall and I highly recommend not trading like this. So if anything, this is an example of something not to do. 
even though it came out with a good conclusion that may not have been the best thing to be doing at the time. But uh, who would have known that <laughs> Spy would be, the market would be dropping so much the rest of the day. Um, looking at the positions I have on... Okay. You can see basically everything is red now. Uh, Intel 42. I think Intel's still above that, isn't it? Let's take a look. Uh, 4379. So again, that's one I'm not worried about yet. Uh, Chewy, I think, was down to 2950-ish. Or 2910. Okay, so that's about 100 bucks in the hole. And the so there's still a lot of extrinsic value left on this guy. And we've got 13 days, so we can hold this and see what happens. But in terms of intrinsic value, this is down 100 bucks already. Uh, Spy, same thing. This is down about 500 What's Let's buy it right now. Let's take a look. I'm sorry. I should have, like, all this written out or something. <laughs> Spy's at 413 So a 420 put is almost $700 in intrinsic value. Uh, this is at 897. This might be one that we can roll early if spy is still down come Monday morning. So I might actually manage this one a little earlier than wait until expiration. Uh, PayPal's down because obviously everything went down. Ally and Ford, I think those are actually fine, even though they show red right here. Like they're not being tested yet, so not to worry about those. Oh, something I did want to talk about was another play that could have turned out really bad. So remember I sold a Amazon bull put spread? Basically, I sold the 2550, bought the 2400, and then on Wednesday, I said I'm a little bit worried about earnings, so I was going to close it down, and I got out with a profit. Had I not done that, that would have been a lot of uh, a lot of losses. Uh, to figure out what that loss would have been, all I have to do is look at the intrinsic value. So... <clears throat> The most I could lose on the position was 15000 and that's the difference between the spread because it was a bold put spread. And basically, what you got to do is take the price of the option, or the strike price that you sold, and subtract the price of the stock at close, which for Amazon was 2485 And that's 65 We do this on 100 shares, so you multiply this by 100 So had I held this till expiration... Instead of getting that $43 profit, I would have lost $6,500. And had I not closed it down before expiration, it looks like Amazon even jumped down another $30 after hours. So add another $3,000 to that. <laughs> uh, and that was a pretty lucky timing that I just got out of that position. That's why you just don't play earnings. That's why that's one of my rules right there. Right there, it paid off significantly. And that's like that feels like a $6,500 win right there because I didn't lose it. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope you guys didn't get hurt too much on this week. Unfortunately, I think uh, we could see more red coming into Monday. And uh, I'd hate to see like Spy get back under 410. I really hope it doesn't go that far for the sake of my AMD calls. <laughs> but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, enjoy the weekend, guys, and see you guys tomorrow.